Hello, grade 11 engineering students. I'm making this video to help you out with the worksheet that's going to be due next week. Uh, this video is just for question number one. I'll try to keep it short. And um, so this is the basic Gates worksheet, part one. So in number one, it asks you to construct a truth table and draw the equivalent circuit for the following expressions. So it gives you the expressions. So I'm going to use, hopefully, yeah, there we go. This is new to me, and uh, I'm going to be adjusting to it, uh, but hopefully it'll work out well. So I'm just going to take, I'm going to do number one with you. So it looks like this. Whenever you see an expression, A, B, you can always assume there's an AND gate. between. That means there's an AND gate. You might also see it with a dot. I like putting a dot. Um, so this is just the basic AND gate. It asks you to draw the, the diagram. So here's your diagram. It's an AND gate. One of the inputs is A. I'll use lowercase a because it uses lowercase a. I really prefer uppercase letters, and uh, T is actually uppercase, but we'll keep it all the same for now. Usually you'll see all uppercase letters. So there's your diagram. And um, for the truth table, well, we have our two inputs, and then we have our output, T. Uh, whenever there's two inputs, we're always going to have four combinations. And they should go in the same order as the binary numbers that we learned in Unit 1. So here's the order that they go in. And this is just the AND gate. The only time you get is a 1 is if both inputs are a 1. Let's look at another example. So this is just example 1, example 2. So suppose we had... A or with B, and I'm putting brackets in there, and then it's anded with uh, B or with uh, C. So because of the brackets, you'll be doing uh, what's in the brackets first, just like order of operations. And usually, so AND gates take precedent over OR, and that's something you should have seen in the last video uh, that I didn't make, but I had posted, but because of the brackets, this time the OR gates will come uh, and take precedent. So I'm going to draw an OR gate. So we have A and B as the two inputs. And then we have another OR gate with B and C as inputs. And uh, I'd actually like you to do it a different way. I'd like you to do it like this. So only e each input should only be uh, shown once, and you can just drop uh, a wire down if you're if if something is sharing an input. So if B is set to zero, well, no electricity will be flowing to both. If B is set to one, then electricity will be flowing to both. Okay, so now we have to and the two to the result of the two together. So we'll have an AND gate and then a T for the, for the uh, result. So T is the output. So there's our diagram. <clears throat> and uh, let's do our truth table. So with a truth table with three inputs, how many possible combinations of zeros and ones can you have? The answer is eight. Here's an easy way to remember that. Um, however many inputs you have, it's two. 2 to the power of the number of inputs, and that will tell you how many combinations you have. So with two inputs, it's 2 to the power of 2, or 4 possible combinations. With three inputs, you have 2 to the power of 3, or 8 inputs. Once again, follow the order of binary numbers of how they are uh, in, in order. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, yeah, I did that right. One zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, and finally one one one. It has to go in that order. There's no 
uh, gray area there. It's it's always just in that order because those those are the order of uh, well, if they were if they were binary numbers from least to greatest. Now instead of t, I'm actually going to have a couple of intermediate values here. So we're going to have a or b as an intermediate value, and then b or c as an intermediate value, and finally t will be getting good use of that eraser. Um, the and of these two, just like the way that the the, uh, the logic expression said. And so, uh, A or B, this is just the OR gate, so the only time we'll get a zero with an OR gate is if both inputs are zero. Otherwise, it's just like a plus sign or an addition operator. So here we go, got some ones here. In fact, the rest are all ones. And then we have B or C, so with B or C, um, same thing. So zero there, there's a one there, one, one. There's another zero here, and the rest are all ones. Now with T, because it, the, the result is the and of the two, the only time we'll get a one is if both columns here are uh, one. So we get a zero, zero. There's a one, there's a one, zero, one, one, one. So that's it. I'm going to do one more example. Um, this video is a bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I'm going to do another example. I think it'll help you out. So now with this example, I'm going to say, uh, let me just go back to the worksheet. I want to see what types of problems we have. Uh, I'm just looking at the worksheet. I don't think you can see me doing that. Um, okay. Well, let's do... A or B or sorry A and B and C or with um, B and C okay so order of operations says that we have to do and first so it's just like multiplication and addition where you have to do you could put brackets around here but they're implied you don't need them because and takes precedence over a war. So um, that's the expression. Let's draw it. So we're going to have an AND gate. I'm drawing it a bit bigger because we're going to have three inputs. And I'm going to draw these a bit longer. You'll see why in a minute. A, B, and C. And we have another AND gate that only has two inputs. Um, now because the inputs are repeated, we don't have any new inputs for this gate. We're going to drop down from the existing one. So there is C. Now with B, this is why I want to do this example. The B, when you have to skip over a wire, you want to draw a hump. And that just says, well, it's not connected to that. It's just skipping over it. These are really wires. And now we're going to do an OR gate, kind of like a summation of the two. It is a summation. It's just like addition, the OR gate. OK. And that's the uh, completed diagram. You can see that it kind of looks a bit more, these can get a bit more, once you understand the basic con concepts, though, you can draw larger ones. There's no really no more rules you need to learn. So let's see now. We're going to have our uh, truth table. So with the truth table, there's our inputs. It's probably too long. Zero, zero, zero. Again, the same order that we had before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. None of them repeat, and they're in that order. So we're going to have A, B, C as that intermediate column. I mean, you can erase. I don't need that to be that long. Okay, A, B, C, and then we're going to have B, C, and then T. You could skip to T if you wanted to. There's another way of doing this. Okay, I'm just going to do it, and then I'll show you the other way that you may prefer um, in some situations. Okay, so A handed with B, handed with C. All I'm going to do is look at my inputs, 0, 0, 0. Well, that's like multiplication. Anyway, the only time that you're going to get a 1 in this column is if all the inputs are a 1. So that's the only time we're going to get a 1. Everything else is going to be a 0, it's just, like, just like multiplication or times. B and C, the only time that we get 
a 1 is if both columns B and C are 1. So there's, there's a 1 there, and then there's a 1 there also. Finally with T, well that's the OR. You don't have to show this, I'm just showing it because it might be the first time you're seeing it. So the only time that we're going to get a 1 for T, actually the only time we're not going to get a 1 for T is if both of these columns are 0, which happens quite a bit. But there's one, and there's one there. So that's a completed example there. The other thing I wanted to tell you just before this video ends, it's already 10 minutes long, I didn't mean it to be that long. But anyway, um, A, so let's say that you're doing A0, B0, C0, and you're trying to figure out what T should be. Here's another way that you might enjoy doing it, maybe if you're more visual or more artistic based. Um, well, there's a zero coming into A, so I could, I'm just working with this first column. So let's say I'm just trying to figure that out and I haven't done this yet. I don't know what the results should be. So I can put a zero here, a zero here, and a zero here. And then you can just follow through. So, okay, so if there's a zero, 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 it's an AND gate. Well, we're going to get a zero there. I can't figure out what comes on the output of the OR gate until the rest of this is figured out. So, well, there's a zero coming from C here, so I'll write that there. There's a B, the B is zero, so there's a zero there. There's a zero there as well. A zero and a zero. OR give you a zero. There's your zero for T. Let's do something a bit more interesting. Let's do the, um, this one, zero, zero, one. So let's say that we were doing zero, zero, one, one. And then I'm going to end this video right after that. This has been a, uh, long enough, I think. Um, so I'm just going to erase this a bit better. There we go. So we have a zero, a one, and a one. Okay, so let's say we were trying to figure that out and we didn't want to do the intermediate columns. You don't have to, you can do it this way. I don't know, I think that the columns, intermediate columns might be quicker, but all right, so we have an AND gate with a zero, a one, and a one. The only time you get a one as an output is if both, all the values are, are one, so therefore we get a zero there. Over here we have a one, and a 1 in the input, so this AND gate, so therefore the result is a 1. Now, with this AND, with this OR gate, we have a 0 and a 1. 0 OR with 1 is, is a 1, so there's the result, and that's what we get over there. That's just another way of looking at it. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps you out with question number 1. I think you can do question number 2 as well. Um, I'm going to post another video to help you out with the rest of the sheet. There might be a part 3 as well, I don't know. Anyway, take care, and uh, I'll post another video uh, soon.